flames right up against her home. It doesn't get any closer than this. Like this is like it's I don't even know how to describe like how that how the house is still here. The fire engulfed garages, outbuildings, cars and one home. But Sarah Gabriel's home, along with about 150 others, were spared from the 500 acre Pacifica fire that broke out Friday afternoon near Williams. The house is surrounded by fire and he could barely see just to get out of the driveway. It took uh, everything we had to stop it. Officials say they had eight to ten ODF engines, five helicopters, four air tankers, and a slew of crews from Jackson, Josephine, Lincoln, Lane, and Marion counties. There were some uh, pretty extraordinary efforts being made in there to protect life and property. The cost of keeping the fire away from homes substantial. We had five helicopters in the air and some of those cost more than five thousand dollars an hour. A load of retardant uh, is about 20,000 bucks. The money to fight these wildfires coming from property taxes. A chunk of that goes to our firefighting coffers and this is why. Officials say they have a good idea what caused the Pacifica fire, but can't release it yet. They're waiting to see if the state has a legal case to recover costs. But whatever the cost, resident Sarah Gabriel is just thankful her family and belongings are safe. It takes a special kind of person to be a firefighter, and I'm forever grateful. Near Williams, Christine Pitawanich, NBC5 News.